All right, um, welcome to our 2013 VI Award Announcements. I have with me Shree Atkins and Dr. Tobair, who are going to announce today. Go ahead, guys. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> welcome to the 2013 announcement of the Movie Guide Awards nominees. And the good news is you didn't have to get up at 4.30 in the morning for this nominee announcement. Did you get up at 4.30 this morning? Yeah, I always do. You always do? Yeah, I don't yeah. sleep. And don't sleep. <laughs> He's a good man. He's up at 4.30 reading the word. That's, That's a beautiful right. thing. I'm Sharif Atkins in here uh, with Dr. Ted Bear, the founder of Movie Guide. Dr. Bear will tell us a little bit about the Movie Guide Awards. Okay, well, Movie Guide is a, is a family guide to movies and entertainment from a very strong Christian faith-based perspective. So we get over that right now. It's a blessing to a lot of people. We're going to be on the, movie, on the Hallmark Movie Channel. We're carried by uh, millions of people around the world see Movie Guide. And I think every country in the world except for a handful puts us as almost more countries than the UN. We've been licensed in Russia and Germany. But what we do is we don't do thumbs up or thumbs down. We try to commend the good. So what we do is we give analysis. We try to help people choose the good and let you be the judge. Let you make the decisions. And at the end of the year, we take the best movies and we show the best movies for families, best movies for mature audiences. This is our opportunity to commend the people in Hollywood like Sharif who are doing great work. Thank you. And very significant impact uh, Movie Guide has. Thank you. <clears throat> so I've been at the Movie Guide Awards in years past. And I know that this year is going to be the best yet. Uh, great news, already announced. Uh, hosting the show is Joe Montagna right. and his daughter Gia. Right. Uh, that's very cool. I'm excited right. to see him uh, uh, on the 15th. Um, so let's get to the business at hand. <clears throat> the 2013 Movie Guide Awards nominees. So first off are the nominees for Best Family Movie. Now, I hope you've seen all these three. Uh, <clears throat> I need to get up at 4.30 uh, a couple of times over the next week before we get to Let's see. Uh, I'm just going to go in alphabetical order. Chimpanzee, uh, which is actually a great Disney nature film, going back to the, it's just wonderful. Here comes the boom. Uh, Kevin James did a wonderful job. Ice Age, Continental Drift. It's a father-daughter movie. Hero Dreams of Sushi. Mm. I bet you haven't seen it. I have not seen that one. That is great. Here it is. Okay, yeah. I'm going to It's about a guy who runs a little sushi stand in Tokyo near the subway, and he's become one of the great cooks, and he was recognized by all the great uh, for the sushi he makes. It's wow. absolutely fabulous. I mean, the smile on your face makes me want to I love it. Like, I mean, I gotta in fact, I, I love food. So I'm <laughs> ready. <laughs> Journey to the Mysterious Island, Madagascar 3, uh, Europe's Most Wanted, The Odd Life of Timothy Green, The Secret World of Arietti, another Japanese film, Won't Back Down, and Wreck-It Ralph are the family nominees for Movie Guide. So if you come on the 15th, we're going to tell you who won, who was the best. Be there. Um, now, I have many associate movie guide with family movies, but we also have a category for movies that are very worthwhile, but just not made for kids. So here are the nominees for best movie for mature audiences. Right. And the envelope is best mature. I'm, best glad, mature. I, I'm glad I picked out the right one. Act of Valor. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, mo almost all these top people are coming. We're going to enjoy having them there. That's great. Amazing Spider-Man. Dark Knight Rises, Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey, Les Miserables, and you starred in Les Miserables in the play, right? Well, well, well the play in high school. In, in high, high school. school. Not on okay. Broadway, not in London, in you, high school. Okay. But okay. I'll have you know that it was a very good production for a weekend. Okay. Marvel's The Avengers, Men in Black 3, which I love. Red Dawn, Skyfall, Snow White, and The Huntsman. And even when I say I love it, doesn't mean that it won, because a lot of people put their input in there. <laughs> it was a good movie, though. It was a good movie. Um, <clears throat> and there also are a number of specialty awards and prizes as part of the Movie Guide Awards. The Grace Award is given for the best performance by the actor or personality whose performance is both exceptional and best contributes to the world's understanding of God's love. And there's a Grace Award for both television and movies. All right, and so let's see who is nominated for the Grace Prize. We were going to give them all to Sharif, but uh, no, no, we didn't do that. For television, wow, this is quite incredible. Cedric the Entertainer, Jeff Foxworthy, and Kyla Kennedy, the Raising Izzy, Paige Himmis, who's won before, 
uh, for Extreme Makeover, Rockman uh, Dunbar for raising Izzy, really good and guy. Tom Selleck. These are all great people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And let's see what the movie ones, Grace movies, are. And again, Andy Garcia for Greater Glory. Mm. Andy's won before and okay. been there before. Gave a heart-rending speech. Uh, Colm Wilkinson for the Les Miserables. Hugh Jackman for Les Miserables. Kevin James for Here Comes the Boom. Kristen Stewart for Snow White and the Huntsman. And Mauricio Curry for The Greater Glory. I've heard a lot about The Greater Glory. I have to check that out. It is wonderful. 4.30 yeah. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the Faith and Freedom Award goes to a movie and TV program which best exemplifies American values of justice, honor, and freedom. Dr. Bear? Okay. We have two different envelopes. One for television and one, of course, for... Uh, for movies, mm -hmm. so for television, Faith and Freedom nominated is the American Bible Challenge with Jeff Foxworthy, Blue Bloods, The Job with Tom Selleck, Criminal Minds, The Fallen with Joe Montagna, Extreme Makeover with Paige, who was nominated also in the Grace Prize, Smile as Big as the Moon, and Tim Tebow's Wild Rise. Now let's look at the movie category. I hope you've seen all these. If you haven't, you've got one week to rush out and see them, and then maybe you can uh, put your, your opinion in as about who should win. Faith and Freedom for Movies is Act of Valor, For Greater Glory, Here Comes the Boom, Marvel's Avengers, Red Dawn, done by the same people who did Act of Valor, Won't Back Down, and Zero Dark Thirty. Here Comes the Boom is uh, in quite a few categories. Have you seen it? I haven't. It is the one of the most exciting movies really? you'll see. You Kevin will, James will really does it. a great job. Huh? Yeah. The trailer looks great. It's I mean, very entertaining. You know, it's very so, entertaining. Yeah, it's, it's just incredible. And new this year, <clears throat> now I was told to pronounce this very carefully because it's yeah. a bit of a tongue twister. So, New this year is the Freeze Free Enterprise Prize. You did I that did beautifully. It. I did it. Yeah. I did it. The award goes to the movie that, through fine craftsmanship and inspirational storytelling, encourages an, appreci an appreciation of free market ownership and stewardship. So for the Freeze Free Enterprise Prize, <laughs> Very good. which Very I've got to say because I've been practicing it, uh, we have several movies which uh, were surprising to us. Uh, Dark Knight Rises, Here Comes the Boom, which is making it into almost every category, Hero Dreams of Sushi, The Odd Life of Timothy Green, Snow White and the Huntsman, and Won't Back Down. That's great. That's great. And the final nominees are for the Epiphany Prizes. These are given to both a movie and a television program that is inspirational and redemptive in nature, and which increases man's love or understanding of God. And the awards come with a check for $100,000 for the Epiphany TV winner. Very nice. That's right. As well as $100,000 for Epiphany movie winner. And Sharif will be directing the uh, Epiphany Prize winner in a year or so, so that we're happy about Gotta that. Gotta love this guy. Yeah. <laughs> From your lips to God's ears. Yes. Amen. Epiphany Prize for television. The nominees are, drum roll, good, America Bible Challenge, Blue Buds, The Job, Married to Jonas, Prom Night with the In-Laws, Raising in Izzy, and Tim Tebow's Wild Ride. And... Uh, I think you pronounced Freeze better than I did, pronounced Tim Tebow's Wild Ride. And for movies, Epiphany Prize for movies, for Greater Glory, Les Miserables, Lincoln, The Odd Life of Timothy Green, Snow White, and The Huntsman. Sounds great. Yeah. Sounds like we got a great cast of nominees. Uh, better than ever. Uh, by the way, you know, when, when we started this, we used to just have one movie that we could find that had values. Right, right. It has increased in, in the faith category from one movie to 57 percent in, in wow. the, all these categories keep just growing. And I, I think that speaks to the work that you guys have been doing and yeah, I think it speaks to the prayers, plenty of prayers that I'm sure are going out there just to create content you know, that has that family feel to it. All I can say is I'm glad it's not me that has to decide among the nominees and this is true. I'm right. very happy because, but I, walk, I, I will, wish it I was you. Try, I, will, I will try to watch them all, though. I will try to watch them all. Uh, it's been a pleasure to be here, and the winners will be announced at the Movie Guide Award on February 15th, and then the award show will be broadcast on the Hallmark Movie Channel. Follow our Twitter at Movie Guide to keep up to date with the Movie Guide Awards, and on behalf of Movie Guide and Ted Bear, thank you.
Thank you very much. Have a great day, and um, we appreciate it. Thank Thank you very much. much.